What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 12.2 beta 2 just two weeks after the release of the first beta. And today of course we're going to be taking a look at everything that's new in this software as well as talk about the performance and the battery life of beta 1. So yeah, as you can see the update is pretty minor. It's only 371.5 megabytes here on my iPhone 10R, which did come from beta 1 of course. Now I did see some people with their update size being a bit bigger around 500 to 700 megabytes. So the size will of course vary depending on your device and of course which firmware you did come from. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the build number. You can see right there the build number is 16E5191D. Of course still a long build number with a letter at the end which does indicate that we are in for at least a few more betas here on 12.2 as expected. All right so now let's talk about what has changed. Now first of all there was a lot of changes in beta 1. I covered 10 changes in my initial video and then multiple changes in my follow-up video a week after 12.2 got released. So overall 12.2 is continuing to bring new things to the operating system. Now the first thing I noticed that's changed here in 12.2 beta 2 is as you can see right there in the music platter there is a new icon up in the top right corner and that was not like that in iOS 12.2 or 12.1.3. I'll just show you real quick here on 12.1.3 you can see it's just kind of these two bars right there in the top right whereas now we have this airplay like icon right there as you can see up in the top right so little minor change there in beta 2. Now a more noticeable change in 12.2 beta 2 is the addition of four new an emojis so if you're a big fan of an emojis this is hilarious this is kind of distracting looking at myself as a giraffe talking to you guys in this video but there are four new an emojis so if you find yourself sending these just to have a little bit of fun with some friends in iMessage you'll be happy to see that there are now four new an and emojis so we have a giraffe we have a shark right here you can see it kind of goes back when you're talking some sharp teeth there we have an owl so you can see me talking with the owl face and then we have this guy right here I'm not really too sure what animal that is but those are the four new emojis here in 12.2 beta 2 I can't even remember the last time we got new an emojis it's been a while so uh, it's pretty surprising to see and pretty uh, a good sign to see new an emojis added here in 12.2 beta 2. And then another change I wanted to talk to you guys about is something a little bit more important. So if you go to settings general about, you'll see that there is a new modem firmware update as well for the 2018 iPhones, which have been experiencing connectivity issues, especially me. If you guys saw my latest video on iOS 12.1.3, basically saying how it's not as great as I thought it was because the Wi-Fi dropped constantly. So uh, cell connectivity has also been kind of spotty as well so 12.2 beta 2 does update the modem firmware to 1.04 0.13 so it went from 1.04.10 to 0.13 here in beta 2 so I'm hoping that that will fix some connectivity issues on 12.2 and one thing that I told you guys before as well is that I'm now going to be updating my iPhone 10s max my daily driver to beta 2 of 12.2 so I'm going to be testing out the connectivity issues and see if I still have those Wi-Fi droppings and see if my cell connectivity is still as bad on beta 2 so I think you guys will be interested to see my experience with that so just stay tuned to the channel for my follow-up video it'll probably be out later this week or next week and I'll let you know how that's all running here on my daily driver now another awesome change here is that the battery percentage actually now shows up on the lock screen without being plugged into a charger so you can see there right under the time it shows that my iPhone 10r is on 51% battery so that's really great because now I don't have to swipe down to the control center to actually see my battery percentage. It shows it there all the time, not just when you are charging. Now there is a downside to this feature as well. And again, this kind of made me think it may not be a feature. It may just be a bug, but you can't see the date on the lock screen now. So some people unlock their phone specifically to see the date. And now you cannot do that because the battery percentage takes up the real estate where it would normally show the date. So still not sure if this is a feature because I do like the feature on the iPhone 10 and above since you have to swipe down from the control center to see the time but at the same time I would also like to see the date on my lock screen so I don't know it may be a bug maybe a feature we'll have to wait and see now another change here in beta 2 is the airplay animation when you tap on airplay you can see the pop-up to choose which device you want to airplay to comes in in a brand new animation looks really cool a lot better than just the flat animation where it just popped up like it was in beta 1 and of course in every previous version of iOS 12. now another thing that I'm sure has been fixed here in 12.2 beta 2 is the massive FaceTime bug that I'm sure all of you guys know about I did make a video on it here on the channel plus it was all over the news that made massive worldwide news so I'm assuming that has been fixed here in beta 2 since it did get released after Apple already addressed it now the public release 
12.1.4 has not been released just yet. I'd imagine that will be coming out either tomorrow or later this week, and that's going to be the public fix. But usually the beta builds of iOS do have that fix already implemented into them before the actual public fix. So I'm guessing that has been fixed here in 12.2 beta 2. If it hasn't been, then I'm sure it will be fixed for sure in beta 3. But of course, the only way you're going to be able to actually group FaceTime with somebody is if they're also on 12.2 beta 2. So that's the big reason I wasn't able to do it just yet. But of course, I will be able to later today when I update my daily driver, my 10s Max to it. So again, I will report that to you guys in my follow up update video later this week or at the latest next week. Now, when we talk about the performance of iOS 12.2, Beta 1 actually seemed a little bit quicker than iOS 12.1.3. It wasn't as apparent at first, but after using the operating system for a while, just the animations, everything seemed a lot smoother than 12.1.3. Now, of course, this could always be the placebo effect, and I'll definitely know when I load this beta up on my daily driver later today, but it does seem a little bit snappier than 12.1.3, the latest public release. And then of course, when it comes to battery life, battery life on beta one was not the greatest. I did make an update video on beta one, you know, a few days, about a week actually after the release of beta one. And I told you guys in that video that the battery life is not the greatest. I actually got worse battery life than I did on iOS 12.1.3. And that has continued to be the case all the way through that following week as well up to today. So I'm hoping that battery life on beta two is better than beta one, but I don't know just yet. Of course, I've only been using this for about 30 minutes now. So I will let you know, of course, in the follow up video. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that's been changed here in iOS 12.2 beta two. Again, the biggest change for me has to be the brand new and emojis. I really like the shark and emoji right here. So that'll be fun to send to some friends, uh, either as a video or a picture or whatever. I really like the sharp teeth there. So new and emojis, of course, we do also have a new icon here in the music platter up in the control center. That thing has been changed so many times. And again, I've only been using this for about 30 minutes now. So there may be some other changes that I will discover after, you know, using it for a while, a couple days as well. So I will report back to you guys if I do find anything else new in 12.2 beta two. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Also, let me know down in the comment below if you've installed 12.2 beta two, or if you installed beta one and how it's been running for you so far. Also, make sure you guys are subscribed. So you don't miss any of the follow up videos where I tell you how the software has been running for the past week or so. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching the video and I'll see you soon.